Okay, it wasn't perfect. I gotta work on that technique a little bit. Okay, starting to get the tails here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this was a wash of a round. That's unfortunate. Whoa, oh, stop it. Stop spamming. Ugh. Now, how did I miss this the first time? There we go. Oh, it still hit him. Nice. Damn. Okay, now back to the yellow. Flamethrower, not too bad. Flamethrowers again, not too bad. Triple flamethrower. All right. Here comes... Ah. When he does that, he summons... Oh, God, I'm already dead. And he's barely taken any damage. Ah. Ow. Oh, again, I was too early. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No, wrong skill. Okay, I'm blowing this round really badly. And I did pretty good that second time, I'd say. Ugh. Ah, man, that landing is hard. To not get rocked by his uh, tricky moves. Ow. Okay, I gotta not go straight to the side when... Or I gotta jump, at least, when he's about to do that. Peekaboo! Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I got a couple of hits in there. Yeah. Oh, come... Okay, clipped him. That's something. But no, I gotta work on my technique here, like... I'm not catching him enough with my fire balls. That spam, I think, is actually better than me doing charge attacks, because 98... Look at that damage. I think that's the safer bet, is to just spam that. Okay, this is the tricky part, though. Because I am not good at Toho. I do not do well with Blue Bullet Hell. Oh, cool! We can just ride this out up here. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, how do I beat that part? Okay. I love the way he clicks like some kind of weird biomech. I, uh, like he's kind of mechanical almost. I love it. Yay! Well, I got a couple of hits in there. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh. Gotta wait for our magic to charge a little bit, so let him do this. Oh, we're getting lucky with uh, no none of those energy balls. Oh, yeah, just spam, right. I forgot. Ow! Oh, I jumped way too early. Hey, I got a hit in there. Nice. Yeah, I should just spam immediately once his eyeball opens up. I mean, I can charge when he's doing that move, but... Whoa! Blah. Too bad your charge resets if you change your... So it's 2,000 health seems to be the threshold once he switches to this. All right, hold on. This is a huge energy blast. I, I just really don't know what to do with that part. <laughs> oh! Right, that I do know what to do there, is unload on this guy. Yeah, I should... That ice attack seems to just be, I need to have this ready or, or something, I don't know. No!
Gotcha! Is he gonna do the... Hey, I survived it! Too bad for you, my ocular friend. Okay, that does not hit at that range. Good to know. He's down to below 2,000. Nice! Now let's just see if we can... Oh, I'm too close to it! Whoa, I still had my ring! Hold on, I still had... Or not my ring, my, my, my amulet thing? I didn't realize I was doing that good! Come on! Ooh. Oh god! He's got a desperation move here at 1000. Okay. Whoa! Hold on. Yikes! Okay, so hold on. So... This isn't... You can stop now. You, you, you can stop now, Galbalan. Your your desperation attack isn't as uh, crazy as I as it was expecting, you know. We can enjoy this amazing music, though. Okay, so what the? Oh! <laughs> I see. Oh, it's um. What is it? Uh, Phantom Ganon. Oh, that's really that's that's really funny. That that's what this finale. Okay. Oh my God! It's not Phantom Ganon. It's Toho Ganon. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. Oh, this is so difficult. I have to pull off this dodgeball fight while these energy balls. No way, no way. This isn't. I can't do this. Okay, hold on. No, let's not panic. Nice, I can do it. Oh, that's gonna get even tougher, isn't it? That looked pretty bad. No, I got splorped! A weird splorp noise. <laughs> hey, oh man, out of the air! What a serve! Oh man. This vortex attack. Trying to avoid it while getting this hit in. Did it! Now it's your turn, Galvalan. Su uh, suck it! Oh, he's still got one one more in him. All right, Galvalan. Come on. Have I got one more in me? I don't know. He's gonna mix it up, isn't he? It's gonna be. Oh no! It's still the Toho move. Yeah. Oh no! Now he's gonna do it. He's gonna do the vortex again, isn't he? Yeah, vortex. No. Uh. This looks bad. Oh my god, look at that skull thing! Is this his true form? Oh! Oh, oh no! Is to I see, I had kind of the right idea, but I think I didn't spam my guard enough. Okay, wow! Alright, well, one more go then. Um, okay, now I'm feeling like this is doable, but... That final phase, this phase here, it's not... Too bad? But that move he just caught me in is really bad, though. Like, that'll end this whole fight, honestly. That is really bad. Okay, once more from the top. Do I remember what he even does in these phases? Let's see. Now, this is very cool, though. I I'm pretty impressed with this final boss. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, that's also unfortunate. I completely borked that one. Yeah, okay, see, look at this, I'm now completely, because I was so focused on his last phase, I'm now completely off-kilter when it comes to his early phases. Excuses, excuses, I know. Yeah, let's, let's stick to this still. Yeah, this isn't my best round. Look at that, the amount of health I lost already. Ah! Yeah. I wonder if there's some phase where the uh, whirlwind has utility. Do you think? Because I th this this uses the fireball a lot, and uh, we really use the earth earth charge to survive some of his moves. Is there a phase where you think 
the green gem is most useful. Do you wonder? I don't know. Booyah! <laughs> wow, he, okay, so he has a small moment of, like, iframes once his eyeball opens up. Good to know. Ow. Man, doing this one without the angel statue. Um, good, good for you if you can do it. Not me. <laughs> this, actually, yeah, no, actually, the, the patterns are really bad for me. The, the Toho phase in the middle is really bad. Oh. I see you. All right, good. Got that okay. So he's gonna toss the big energy ball where I was last standing. Okay. Kind of what I wanted to do there. I'll just chillax up here and let the hands do this. Like, I wonder... No, but we don't have... We don't have any mana, though, so I can't spin a Rooney on these hands here. Nah, I was avoiding the lasers. Oh. Tried to land on the other platform and got styled on. I lost my angel statue. I'm very grateful I have the angel statue for this fight, though. The angel thing. Oh, oh, this. Ah. Oh, well, maybe I have to use the spinner Rooney there. Maybe that does most damage when his eyeballs park there. Maybe? I don't know. We'll test it. Now he's gonna chuck this here again. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, don't start the hand thing already. Or I'm just gonna have to smash y'all hands. Oh my god, these lasers. Oof. This is kind of a bad phase. <laughs> Smacked it out of the air. That was kind of funny. Oh, no, this, this again! Oh! I see this seems oh my god that that was a wash that was such a wash I got so tilted there and I feel bad about that one I'm, I'm sorry guys oh cool I just noticed he like sucks up our man up to make that bomb whoa I avoided it uh. Oh, yeah. But then I didn't avoid the Look, I have to avoid the flames, the lasers, and the hands. I, I, I don't have the mental power for that. I'm too much of a dum-dum. But it's fine, it's fine. Let's keep partying. Look, we got to the final phase one time, so surely we can do it again, right? Oh, you got to listen to this great ja Slamma Jamma music, too. Nope. But, like, that kind of diminishes his scariness that he has such a, like, kind of owie noise when you, uh, when you, uh, hit him. <laughs> like, you know, this is the ultimate evil of Felgana. Sure. Oh, my God. How do I? Well, I guess now's the time to practice. <laughs> Ooh. Booyah! I see you! <laughs> uh. Uh. Oi. No, you don't. I forgot I gotta wait for him to move those out of position. Say la vie. I got too eager to put some shots in on him. Like this! Hey, I got a one in. Now let's get the topaz ready. Although he, if I stick to the far end, he does seem to favor, ow, he does seem to favor the flamethrower. I had the wrong skill. And if I get too close, he'll start using the fire balls. And now I'm completely tilted again. Unfortunate. Here comes that. Oh, I see what keeps hitting me. The blast shoots out those things. Ooh, I was a little too high in the air. Hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, 
Ah, I lost my statue again. I'd rather keep the statue all the way to, like, at least his phase two, like I did the last round. How did I play that good that time, I wonder? There we go. You know, I just realized what this is. It's like the icon of Sin from uh, Doom 2, like getting that, getting the right shot. It's like shooting the rocket launcher in the head of the icon. That's really funny. Now that I realize what's going on here. God damn these lasers. I was gonna say, well, let me just earth charge through these, but that's not an option in this phase. See, you remember? Oh, now I know what's gonna happen, though. Not this time, Galvalant. Uh, uh, uh. Not this time, Galvalan. What else you got? Oh, right, he's gonna just do this again. Now he's gonna send the laser orbs to one side. Oh, no, he's not. Interesting. He seems to... He's gonna crossfade them. Uh-huh. I avoided them! Yay! But these hands are really hard to avoid. Ah! Oh, God. I wish he'd do this move more often. Look at this. That's real estate. That that right there. We should do that move more often. Oh! I, 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 I was ready for it the first time. Why did I do this up now? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get tilted. Except that I've only got 100 health and yeah. Oh, I keep mistiming that when I avoid the fireball. There we go. Ah! Ah! Oh. Come on, use your... Aw, oh, he's not gonna use the thing. Ah, he keeps... Alright. Yeah, now he uses it, yeah. Maybe he only uses that when I hang out way in the back, maybe? I don't know. We'll test the theory. Seems like staying behind is very good until his head is there. Or eyeball, I guess. Ah! Oh, yeah. If I could get this phase at least down to consistency, that'd be great, you know? It would make me feel safer about doing his uh, final two phases. Or final two phases, his other two phases. Damn! A little slow on my part. Not this time. Yeah, I got one hit in there. Forgot, again, I forgot to switch to. Once his eyeball retracts, just switch to that Tobaz, baby. Just checking what the revolution is. I'm not gonna screw that up anymore. Eat it! Oh, that was so quick! Okay. I really do need to be on top of my game once he decides to retract his swords like that. Okay, now yellow. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Perfection. Well, okay. That's maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but... Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no! So it doesn't have anything to do with where you are on the map. He just... Sometimes he uses it and sometimes he doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I thought I went over his head again. Icon of Sin again. Okay. This is where things get tricky. Let's get this ready. I don't really use fireballs in this phase, so let's get that ready. No. Oh, there's a small moment before the lasers activate. Good to know, good to know. Oh, he did not like that. Now he's gonna do it, now he's gonna do it. Ah ha 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 ha! Eat it! Yikes! Wow, that took so much health from him! I'm so happy. Okay, okay, now I'm feeling it. Although, again, the Phantom Ganon dodgeball is gonna be something, for sure. No? Let me just hang out here for a bit. Wow, that's just free place to hang out. Ow. Come back here. 
No, no. Lane thrower. There we go. I kind of. I wish I didn't use the angel statue yet there, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Don't try my patience, Galvalan. I see. It always stops at an even thousand. Good to know. I can't say I'm too scared if your final attack is playing uh, volleyball with me. A little bit of tennis. Oh, now's, now's when the energy ball starts showing up. Okay. Just stay calm, stay calm. Ow. That was too calm. Watch that Toho. Stay inside the spiral. Should be one more. Oh. There we go. Easy trade for me. This is where it gets difficult. Now comes the claw vortex. Like, <laughs> freaking... How do I keep up my momentum while this is happening? Ugh. I don't know. Yeah! Okay, now the, uh, Toho bullets again. Ow, that was bad position for me. Ah, ah! 100 health. Oh my god, oh my god. This is too close for me, because two shots from that energy ball will send me to my grave. One shot from that energy ball will send me to my grave. One shot will send me to my grave, as you just saw. Oh my god. I feel a little bad that I screwed that up like that. I, that was mine to win, and I failed. Okay. Let's not despair. That's what Galbalan wants, is us to give up. Nope. Now that I know what his tricks are, this is very much doable. Only trouble, again, it's so intimidating to play dodgeball while, um... While he's got those freaking... While he's got those freaking claws coming out of the ground, ready to grab us for that terrible, terrible ride. It wasn't fun, man. It wasn't fun. Okay, now switch. Yeah. Don't forget what we're supposed to do in this phase. And like I said, this, this song's a killer. I love it. it. It really hypes you up for this fight. This is supposed to be a fun fight, even though it's a scary-ass monster. I mean, they make the monster incredibly cheesy as well. So, like, you know, even though it's like a horrible demon entity, it's still, like, supposed to be, like, a fun thing to fight this guy. Goop. All right. No, I'm all out. I'm all out. Mm. Not bad, Galbalan. Not bad. Aha! See? Perfect timing and... Oh, really? Okay, it did get him. I was like, damn it. Suck it! I knew it. Got him below 4,000. Okay, still over half health. Got my angel statue, whatever it is. I keep forgetting what it is. The pendant. All right. Lasers are active. Ow! He did not like that. Okay, now he's gonna do... Right, okay, I know. Oh, I guess I was a little too early with that. Oh well, oh well. This is a really cool design, too. Like I said, like I like that he's kind of like a robot, some kind of biomech. And he's also so alien. It's so cool. Uh, oh, those lasers came faster than I anticipated. Oh, oh my heavens. No. Thread the needle, why don't you? There we go. I lost my angel statue again. Oh well. Alright, now let's see. Ugh. There we go. 
he didn't like that. Gotta take out a thousand more of his health, though. This is not close to being done yet. And this laser pattern, if it's bad, it's bad. Uh, oh, it came fast. It looks like the hands don't really follow me. They seem to have a set position, I think. I, I might be imagining, but that's what it looks like. Wow. I'm pretty happy with that. Ah, nah, there we go. And now he's like, okay, well, why don't you try Ice Field? And I'm like, nope. There we go. Oh, I love his big dumb roar. There we go. Hang out close to him. Less distance. Ugh. Actually, let's not hang out that close. Maybe it's not a good idea after all. Ugh. I took a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Oh god, come on! I should have... I was too focused on these damn claws, they're so scary. Yes! Sick! Two more! Two more. Galvalan! Uh, it spawned right next to me. That was kind of bad. Uh. Oh, no, who again? It's just I, my brain can't handle so many things to pay attention to. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Well, let's keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. This isn't over yet, not not even close. Although these flamethrowers you might want to get done with them. Ah. Hey, nice. <laughs> I love interrupting him like that. That's so good that this cocky supposed god can just be interrupted like What a like empowering thing. I love it. This, like, stupid guy. Like, this is a really fun final boss. I really like this. I, I know I'm getting a little tilted here by how damn difficult that final whack-a-mole phase... Whack-a-mole? Volleyball phase is, but, like... This is... I don't know. This still feels pretty fun to me. Oh, good. Got a couple of shots in there. Peekaboo! Alright, now back to yellow. Nice! Right away. Ooh, that one. Oh, it didn't miss! Nice! You die! Alright, let's switch back to the yellow one. Ooh! No! Oh. Nice! I like that. Man, I wish he'd toss those ice blocks more often. Not this ice, no thank you, but the other one. Nice! So just exploding on his ass. I love it. I don't know why I charge every time. For good luck, just to get my dash as well. Ooh! Ooh ice blocks! I tried to aim for the other ice blocks. Didn't quite manage. Oh, nice. Let's hang out here. Alright, now it's... Yeah, I, my theory is he does not, like, charge after Adol with these it moves. He, like, kind of... He has this pattern for his hands. Ooh, that was... Speaking of pattern, I should have been watching the pattern of lasers. Oh my god! There we go. Nice, 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 nice. 
figured he didn't. He seems to have a set amount of health, and then he, like, retracts in horror. Gotcha! Here we go. And still got... Look at that. Still got my angel statue, so... Let's see what you got, Galbalan. Let's see. Let's see. Come on! I've played Ocarina of Time. Although, admittedly, Phantom Ganon does not toss a bunch of... Toho bullets at me when I'm duking it out with him. Yeah! Ugh. Ah, damn it! Oh. Looks like I can just run away, honestly. Yeah, 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 yeah! Good. I lost my angel statue, so... No, like, uh... No statue run on this one. Uh, uh. Damn! Came up so fast. Again, it's those bullets... Uh. Bam! Yeah, okay. Now, the coup de grace. Okay, so you can drop on those claws. Damn it! Like, they aren't active once they kind of clench by the looks of it, so... Come on! Yes! Booyah! Hey! <laughs> oh, you're not looking too hot there, Galbalan. <laughs> it's already started to revive. Uh, not to worry. Give me five minutes. I'll be back in, back in good shape in no time. Oh God! Oh God! That hurt. Why? Why did I think volleyball was a good idea? Oh. I guess Genesis sword alone would be enough. Ooh. I love that the music keeps playing in this scene. That's fantastic. Over here, both of you. I think he has some kind of plan. Come on, Adolf. It's kind of rocking plan. Yeah, you, you'd better run away. Yeah, run back home to your mommy. Step onto the platform. I, I can get back up anytime I want. Just give me a second to adjust my eyeball. Oh. All right. Now, give me the sword and the statues. Uh oh. Paul handed the brave sword and all four statues to Chester. Here you go. Oh man, I, this feels like dramatic sacrifice time. Oh, that's gonna be really sad if that's the case. All right. Now. Chester, what in the world are you planning? Elena? This is goodbye. Oh, geez, they are going there. Whew, this is rough. Please, take care of yourself. Okay? What? What are you saying? Our ancestors left behind a means of destroying the entire island. Oh, wow. It can focus the power of the statues to a breaking point, creating a massive explosion. Wait, what was that part? Given how badly wounded Galvalan is, it's certain to destroy him for good. Uh, n n n no, it won't. It's futile. D don't bother. Wait. So you're going to use that to blow up the island? Clearly, there's something else you're not telling me. Yeah, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I think the fact that he said goodbye makes it clear that uh, he's not going to be coming back from this one. Elena. I'm staying here. I need to use Genesis' sword to activate the device. Wait, Chester. You can't be serious. If you do that, you'll... You'll be... No! You can't! You mustn't! There... There has to be some other way. Why? Why should you have to die for this? I can never make amends for the atrocities I've committed. Perhaps this way... I can face our ancestors... 
without feeling ashamed of the man I've become. Oof, I get it. I do, but like, oof. Please, Elena. Try to understand. No! I don't understand! How can you possibly suggest something like this? If you go on living, you'll find a way to redeem yourself. I know you will. You have to know that our parents would never approve of this. So please, don't. Don't leave me alone again. You can't, Chester. You can't do this. Elena. Forgive me. Oh my god, Jesus! Elena. You have to live. For me. <laughs> Man, Chester. I guess I don't get it. I want to say I get it, but like, my goodness. I don't. Please take care of her. And... Tell Dovi I'm sorry. <laughs> like, okay, I guess like she would never have let go of him, but like, come on. Good heavens. All right, well, Godspeed, you... Crazy, crazy guy. Um, don't set it off too soon, okay? We kind of have to get off this island. I shouldn't joke too much. This is actually a pretty, pretty strong scene for a pretty light-hearted game so far. Now, Genesis' mission, and that creature that's plagued this land for such a long time, will all be put to an end. Oh shit, Royal look! Fiend. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I like he even has a different design, kind of. Like, he's like changed already. Look, he's kind of different looking. That's really cool. But you're too late. Aw, oh, not! I'll get you next time! Oh my god, I don't have a next time! Oh, that's so cool! They show this... the defense of the city going on. Oh, man, and everyone gets to be cool, too, especially freaking Burhart there. Damn it. We can't hold out much longer. All right, because they respawn without the silver chime. Yeah, yeah. Chester, is this your doing? Oh, cool. Another anime cutscene. Yep. That'll probably get him. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whew. This really did get pretty heavy here at the end, this game, actually. I, I do joke a little bit because Galapalan was so hilarious, but wow. They actually got some pretty good feels at the end here. Well done. Dumbass. Was kind of a desperate situation, like... 
all joking aside, it did look like Galvaland did need to be put down for super good. So, yeah. Ah, Adol is back in his quote-unquote civvies here. Got rid of that super rare Raval armor. Just so that he can uh, be... <laughs> Just so he can be at the level 1 again for the next game, with little explanation for what the heck happened. It's fine. I don't care about that in video games, honestly. It's completely fine for me. Uh, if, 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 especially in a light-hearted game like this series. Like, that's not, like, too... Too, like, nitty-gritty. There's just to be like, well, now he's reset to back to level 1. It's fine. Anyway. Hey, Otto! I think you'll get her to come out. It's understandable, though. She lost Chester for real this time. She's probably in a lot of pain right now. Mm. Don't look so dejected. You'll see her again someday, and she'll be fine. Come on. Let's go, okay? Oh, I really like Dogi being positive here. We need to say our goodbyes to everyone before shipping off. It's still early in the day, though, so we might have to make it quick. I imagine they'll all be pretty busy. Whoa, hold on. Do we get to just like have after the fight we just get to and Doki's running around with us? This is really cool if this is really where we get to talk to everybody. Busy, busy, busy. I've been getting Raval orders from all over Ram. I am making so much money now. I'd been planning to go back, but I can't just let this amazing opportunity slip by ungrasped, you know. I think I'm going to settle down here and become rich beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, I've earned it, don't you think? After everything I've been through, a little good luck is a welcome change. Success! Thy name is Antonio. Yahoo! This is incredible if we get just like, cause it's so fun in like a big, huge JRPG to like have like a where are they now moment at the end to just see all the characters. Like how they're doing. If we get to like actually interact with everybody, just run around talking to everybody, that is like an extra cool thing. What a great finale! So, You're leaving then? Hey now, what's with that look? I know you're having a tough time dealing with what Sister Nell did. Oh yeah, poor Pierre. But look at it this way. Maybe she thought she was doing what she had to. She was just misguided. Well, it's not great, but I guess if, if that helps Father Pierre be cheered up, I, I guess we'll go with that. Yes. You may be right. I remember when I first came here. She taught me everything I needed to know. Patient and understanding all the way. She never had an unkind word to say about anyone. Hard to believe that same person committed such atrocities at the bishop's behest. It is super sad. But I feel there was more to her than that. I think, deep down, she really was the wonderful human being we all knew. Huh. Yeah, I think you're right. To be honest, I never knew Bishop Nicholas very well. He was Nicholas. I wasn't crazy. Nicholas Garland. All right. But Sister Nell was always one of the nicest people I'd ever met. She treated me like a little brother. I don't buy for a second that it was all just an act. Indeed. She and Chester sinned gravely, but they were not evil. They were only human, and humans make mistakes. It is man's great contradiction. We can be so strong, yet so weak, at the same exact moment. Wow. All right, then. We live such fragile lives, but in each of us lies the potential for great deeds. Perhaps those two can serve as powerful examples to the rest of us. May God be with you in your travels, Adol. I look forward to our next meeting. Yeah, stay safe, mate. Oh, there's even this, like, really pleasant, like, the, the battle's over and we won and it's all good now music. Well, Adol, we're reopening the quarry today, and as soon as we get it all cleaned up, we're back in business. I'm so excited I could barely sleep last night. I woke up much, much earlier than I usually do. The monsters did a lot of damage, so the road ahead is a long one, but still, 
I'm just so grateful to get my job back. Cool. <sighs> What's taking them so long? We need to get back to the castle pronto. They know that better than anyone. We don't have enough people left alive, much less employed to clean up all the mess in there. We need our count back. Guess we'll just have to do the best we can until these slowpokes here finally make their way back home. Right, the freaking guard from the place. Beautiful weather today, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Perfect for setting out on a long journey. There's been a lot of damage done, but that sure doesn't seem to be ruining anyone's day. Hmm. I think it's because we proved that no matter how bad things get, we'll all stick together and see them through. That's true, but what are you guys going to do about the quarry? Until it's cleaned up, it sure ain't going to produce much. Oh, don't worry, we'll be fine. We just have to take it one step at a time, and before you know it, it'll be done. After all, the people of Redmond are resilient. It'll take more than this to keep us down, am I right? Mm. You know it as well as I do, Dougie. <laughs> Damn straight. Oh, by the way, can we... Yes! We can check out the monster book where there's an entry on Galbalan. The great demon of legend was once bested by the fabled warrior Genos, bringing his dreams of destruction to an end. He was later revived by Nicholas Garland, but Adol was able to take him down. The sinister marauder from afar. Very mysterious. Oof. That was that was very cool. That was so cool. That, and this is incredible, this sequence. I believe the Count to be a new man now. I truly feel that he's turned over a new leaf and changed his evil ways. Praise be to God for that. Perhaps now he can be the man milady deserves. We plan to return to Valestine Castle today. The situation inside is quite dreadful, but we have to try and make a fresh start. We'll do all we can to ensure a bright future for this land, so we can at least begin to atone for the pain we caused. Right, so is the Count really a changed man now? <sighs> it's as if I've been living a nightmare. The Bishop played upon my lust for power and the soldiers. Their poor, tortured souls were used to sow the seeds of anger and sorrow throughout this land. All of this is because I was weak. Every part of this is my own fault. I will devote the rest of my life to atoning for my sins. I swear it. He is a changed man. Wow. Cool. Well, I do like that one of the, like, big bad guys gets to, like, actually live to atone. Not just sacrifice themselves or die super hard. That, uh, that's nice. So, you're leaving us already, are you, Adol? I've been doing a lot of thinking. And you know what I've concluded? Chester gave his life to save all of Felgana. Hmm. I'm convinced that that was his goal from the very start. Kind of, I guess. Like, uh, Count Maguire was threatening Felgana originally, so... So rather than grieving for his death, I choose to celebrate what he accomplished in life. He will be remembered. There. I think the best thing we can do right now is focus on getting everyone to work together to build a better Felgana. That's how I'll repay my debt to Chester. In any case, at all. You must come back to see us again. And I promise, by the time you do, I'll have turned Redmont into a world-class metropolitan utopia. Aww, but then it'll lose its rustic charm. Uh, well, if people want to come here, why the heck not? All right. Count McGuire may not be an agreeable sort, but it seems we're of one mind in our desire for a new era of peace. If the townsfolk work together with the people of the castle, we can truly make this a prosperous nation. Of course, it won't always be an easy path to take, but it will surely be an enjoyable one. Yay. This is so sappy, but again, I just love it. It's so fun. Oh, the Count's kids weren't here? Okay, I was kind of hoping we'd get to see them as well. Oh well. I guess we need to talk to him again. We didn't talk to Dewey a second time. We owe you a great debt, Daddo. Take care of yourself out there. Okay, fair enough. 
I heard the Count reformed now. He's a changed man, they're saying. That's all poppycock, though. Hogwash. Actions speak louder than words, and I ain't believe in anything till I see it. I suppose this is where it all begins. Right, well, that's nice. He's like at the end, he's giving like a modicum of a chance for the Count. Cool. Just him here. Things are looking up for trade in Felgana. Been so long I've almost forgotten what money looks like. Everyone's in pretty high spirits too, with Raval mining in our near future once again. No time to waste, I say. Let's get that quarry up and running as soon as is humanly possible. We will do that. Let's see. Oh, let's go see the, the Picards. Yeah, the kids are- Oh, this is where the kids are! Yay, hey, they're all hanging out with the little baby Picards. Hooray! Yay, squeak. Kristoff does this thing where he daydreams and starts wandering around. And then I turn around and he's gone. I get really worried every time he does it. I just think, where did he go? And is he okay? You know, I'll bet this is what having a little brother feels like. That's really cute. Picard sure are cute. I've never seen or felt anything like them before. This was the first time I've ever played with children other than my sister. It was really fun. Maybe Alice and I can sneak back here and play with Hugo and Anya again sometime. No, oh, that's so cute. Speaking of Alice... I guess we're going back to the castle real soon. Ah, oh, it's so boring in the castle. To be honest, I actually prefer the inn to my drafty old room. Sure, my room's got better toys, but it's not as fun. I guess it's not all bad, though. I have mother, father, and Kristoff with me. And that hasn't happened in a long time. You know what's super nice about this is that she was being this stuffy, like, spoiled brat, remember? She was being like, ugh, I need to be in this dirty inn, ugh. So now she's had, like, a huge change of heart. Even this, like, character who had, like, five minutes of screen time had, like, a really nice character arc. Ah, uh, that's so, so, so good. I love it. Ah, uh, yeah, Dread Captain Anya. Hey, you know what I just found out? Alice and Kristoff live in a castle. Does that mean Alice is a princess? Oh, that is so cute. Very nice. Okay, let's go down this way next. No, down. Whoa, Dogie. You, you doing okay there, Dogie? Whoa, 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 whoa. Clearly the game wasn't really designed to have a party member hanging out with you like this. That's fine. Hey, Adol. Looks like you're all packed up for a hike or something. Oh, crap. Are you leaving, Vilgana? I was hoping we'd get to talk more. There's still a lot I wanted to learn from you. Sorry, I'm not trying to guilt you or anything. I'm just a little disappointed, that's all. I do wish luck on your journey, though. And I hope you'll come visit us again someday. I'll try to become the best miner this town's ever seen by then. Oh, man. I'm so happy to see Bob and his grandma, like, doing okay. I haven't seen Elena in several days. Oh. I know just how she feels though i was the same way when well you know right no need to worry she's got an iron will not even the worst pain in the world can break somebody like her she'll bounce back for sure all she needs right now is time and then she'll be good as new yes i think you're right but still the sooner the better I hate to see a sweet, lovely young lady like her in such agony. Aw. Adol, are you leaving us already? I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm in your debt many times over. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I hope that Bob grows up to be as fine a man as you. I know you've probably heard this from everyone by now, but please, take care of yourself, okay? I will, ma'am. Good luck with you and your grandchild. <sighs> what to eat? What to eat? You've gotta eat before working to keep your strength up, you know. Now that's especially true for me. So if we're gonna be cleaning up the monster damage in the quarry, I'll need to eat enough for three people. 
I'll focus all my energy into my jaw and chew at the speed of a hummingbird's wings. No time to savor, just energize. That's really cute. What's going on down here? Here we got the hero. Ha ha ha! I did it! I defended the town to the very end! Damn, I'm good. Defending the innocent is such a rush, too. But that's enough fun for me, I think. It's about time I head back home to Garmin. <laughs> His character arc was amazing. Honestly. All these characters, so many fun arcs. Isn't it a bit early to be setting off? Are you sure we can't convince you to stay a little longer? <sighs> Adventuring life, ma'am. It's just how it goes. Come on now. You're gonna make him feel guilty about leaving. Can go <laughs> on some grand adventure in your place. Sorry, it's a two-for-one deal. We gotta go together. Oh, ma'ams. Why you gotta bust my walls like that? Bust my walls. <laughs> See, if it was just like a we can't say bust my balls, it'd be one thing. But the fact that he's, you know, famous as the wall crusher <laughs> makes that super good. Oh my. Take care of yourself now, you hear? I will, I will. Margot puts up a very good front, I must say. She's always heartbroken when people leave, yet she acts like she's on top of the world. I can't bear to see it. Heh. <laughs> Chipper as ever, Joel, ain't ya? Poor Adel's gonna feel like crap by the time he ships off. Oop, sorry, Dogie. So. What about you, Master? What are you gonna do now? Planning to go back to your cabin up in the mountains? No. Now that Count McGuire has reformed, I see no further need to live the life of a hermit. Right, because he was felt guilty for being for his part, right. With the monsters gone, I'm left adrift in this world. A man without a purpose. Oh, come now, Master. You're no such thing. No, I have. My job here is done. All I'm qualified for is mercenary work, and that's out of the question. Wow. Oh, yeah, because, again, his past. Honestly, I think I'm just going to relax now. Relax and mourn the loss of a dear pupil, of course. I see it as retirement. Living out the rest of my days here. Helping to rebuild. I actually... Okay, yeah, that's a nice end to him as well. His his arc, his mini arc. Yeah. With all the old mysteries solved, nothing standing in the way of this nation's future. I think Genos would be proud of that. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I wonder if there's anyone. I don't think there's going to be anyone in here. The only guys we have left to meet are some of the guards and the blacksmith and 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 shopkeep. So yeah. Oh, yeah, this lady. Phew, mornings sure are busy around here. Especially now that things are peaceful again. So much cleaning to do. I've been cleaning up ever since morning mass ended, and I've barely put a dent in the work that needs to get done. Father Pierre's sermon today was beautiful. He's been preaching like a pro this past week. Maybe someday he'll be as good as Bishop Nicholas once was. That's a big once, of course. For him, right? Nothing here. Yeah, saw the kids already. Let's go in the shop. See these guys off as well. No need to say anything. Adonis held out his hand to Adol. You take good care of yourself. Wow. Be sure to come back again someday. I'll work on holding my art even more by then. Maybe I'll even be world famous. Then BAM! Autograph City for you. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Adol? I'm very sorry, but we're not open for business yet today. 
What? You're leaving us? I'm sorry to hear that. It won't be the same without you. You've taught everyone, myself included, how to be a little more brave. If you ever have a chance to visit Felgana again, I do hope you'll come see us. We'll be here, and we'll be waiting. Alright. That was a nice talk. Goodbye! Really... It was, it was sweet. They didn't have much of a character arc, these two characters, but it was, you know, nice to see them off as well. Ah, good morning, adults. Awfully early start today. You going somewhere? Oh, so you're leaving. It's probably bad form to be asking you this now, but have you considered staying here with us? Everyone in town already thinks of you as one of their own. I'm sure they'd all be thrilled. You're wasting your breath, old man. He wouldn't know what to do with himself if there were no more grand adventures in his life. Mm, yeah. The thrill of new lands is what keeps him going. I guess so. Yes, I believe I understand. I think we've just grown attached to you, Adol, but you needn't mind us. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, after all. Take care in your travels, and be sure you come visit. Alright. Adol, you'll come back and see us again, right? You'd better. Let us know in advance, and we'll throw you one monster of a party when you get here. Okay, I think that's everybody. That was really sweet, like I said. Incredible that they had this playable, playable epilogue. That's so, so good. It's one of the best things about this game, honestly. I'm not even hyperbolizing. Well, Adol, I guess this is goodbye. Oh! If I go with you all the way to the dock, I know I won't be able to keep myself from getting on that boat. Wow! You're gonna stay here? Like I mentioned yesterday, I think I really need to stay here and help rebuild. Wow. The monsters are gone, but the quarry's still in bad shape. There's a lot of damage to repair. Don't think we should leave Valestine Castle in its current state either. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit and help my homeland get back on its feet. I think that's what Chester would have wanted too. Hmm. Right. You need to continue your journey. And give everyone something to dream about. No need for the puppy dog eyes, man. If you stay in one place long enough, you know I'll catch up to you. Oh, okay, that's how they explain him showing up in later games. We'll meet again, partner. I promise you that. Wow, this is actually getting me in the feels. Adol was reassured and bid Dogie a fond, albeit temporary, farewell. Alright, well, take care, man. Wow. You were right, Chester. I have to be brave. Oh. Elena? Dogie, where's that all? <laughs> You just missed him. He was headed toward the pier, so you might catch up with him if you run. Okay. Hey, watch your step along the way if you're planning to chase after him. The monsters may be gone, but that doesn't mean there aren't still cliffs and jagged rocks and stuff. I was gonna say the same. It's like safe now with monsters gone, so she actually can go to the docks. I will. Thank you, Dogi. <laughs> go for it. Man, such good stuff. Adol, wait! <sighs> Thank goodness, I caught you. Adol, I'm sorry I didn't come out to see you earlier. I owe you so much. The very least I can do is see you off. I just didn't know what to say to you. I'm... I'm so confused. But I knew that I'd always regret it if I let you leave without saying goodbye. So I had to see you. I just want to say thank you so much.
for everything. Because of you, I believe that Chester's finally at peace. Mm. And in the end, he saved everyone. All of Felgana. He told me I have to go on living. And I will. I believe he had no regrets. Thinking about him still hurts. But I believe that everything he did, misguided though it may have been, was to protect me, me, and all the other people he loved here. That's why I have to be strong. I have to stand on my own, so I can protect the people and the home I love, just like he did. And I swear that I will, right here on this spot, I pledge my oath to him. Oh, what? Name, kind of title drop? Goodbye, Adol. Because it, 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 that was an oath in Felgana. Wow! I'm... I'm really glad I met you. Wow! What a thrill that was. I'm so... So delighted. This this game stuck the landing so good it like melts my head. From the really nice like one two simple and quite challenging final boss to like this playable epilogue and real feels incredible. I'm so impressed. This 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 kicked ass. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally see why this is a fan favorite, this game. This was such a good package. Um, yeah, let's get right into the review then. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, as you can tell, I was so thrilled by this game. I'm, like, really, really delighted by it. Um, let's start with the story. The story is on the simple side. Uh, by the time this came out in, like, 2003 or whenever... The, the 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 plot twists that this game was providing weren't like crazy even in the world of video games I don't think so it was quite a simple plot but uh, but it, it served its purpose for sure it served its purpose greatly and I, I the character work the character plots I, I've been I've been like um, fawning over them today at this epilogue but that's where this game story shines so much. The, the, the NPCs in this town, the, the way that they all kind of have like a story arc and you get to know them throughout. And if you're willing to put in the time to like talk to them all the time whenever you drop by Redmont and you get to really know them and see them grow through the plot and they have hero moments of their own, it's incredibly rewarding. That's... Uh, I, I'm not kidding. I think that's the strongest part of the story. The, the, the Chester plot, the Chester and Elena story for sure, it's good... It's really pretty... Mika Poikela, a Finnish person, got special thanks? Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, it, like, it was, a, it was a fine story, and Chester's plot was way more interesting than I initially thought. Uh, kind of poo-pooing how cartoonishly evil he was at first, you know? But they turned it around really, really well. So it was all stuff good. It was good, good plot. The whole ancient evil thing, and uh-oh, the church guy is actually the bad guy. Okay, sure, not, not, not... Not points for any originality or anything, but, like, absolutely great for serving the game. But yeah, the, the character work was so good, and this final decision of you being able to run around and talk to everybody, so that you yourself have a chance to, like, get a vibe of, like, um, what everybody was like, what everybody was like at the end of the story, is so good. It's wonderful. And this, this ending's, by the way, wonderful, too. Just these, all these shots of all these characters and the land of Felgana. The land was a character in itself. They really sold that really well. I'm so impressed by that as well. For such a simple story, for all the, like, characterization and selling that they managed to do in it, I'm stunned. I'm delighted. I'm so delighted. Wow. The gameplay is also great, like, definitely. It's very much on the simple side, the gameplay. It's, uh... It's not as simple as, like, East 1, which was so simple to the point of it being very kind of detrimental how simple it is. Like, it just... This didn't, like, 
even though you don't have a lot to do, it didn't get too old. Like, you get... You get additional, um... Oh, what is it? You get, like, additional spells all the time and certain new abilities that, that manage to, like, constantly, like, diversify it all the time just a little bit more. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you for playing. Aw, oh, thank you for making this game, uh, Falcom. Honto ni arigato. Arigato gozaimashita. This was, uh, this was such a pleasure. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. let's wrap up the... the I, I need to actually scoot on out of here, so I need to wrap up my uh, review real quick, like, but I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, um, yeah, uh, the gameplay was... They kept it fresh with those little additions all the time, so it didn't feel like, like East 1, which I thought got pretty old, like, halfway through, honestly. It, it was pretty fresh. Uh, and at, towards the end, I love that they started to make the bosses, like, kind of vary up what you had to do in them. There was a good variety there as well. Like, they just about the right amount without it getting stale. It, it, it was really good. Like, Galvalan especially, like, just, like, use... The only one was that I never found out how to use that green emerald gem in the Galvalan fight. If there was, like, a phase of it where that was, like, really good to use, I kind of missed it. But, but still, like, a really good, like, mix of using skills in that final boss. Really good stuff on that front. The, the the platforming was fine. Sometimes it was a little tricky to control Adel's jumps and flights. Kind of goes to show that this was a hack and slash action RPG first and foremost. But they did good on the platforming. All of that said, still, I really liked it. Uh, the level design most of the time was good. I think that's the low point of the game. Is a couple of the levels which go on for too long and aren't too ver aren't varied enough. Elder Mountains is pretty bad towards the end with all those ice caves and the same enemies showing up. And um the the final level, the dark shrine was kind of kind of war thin as well. It wasn't super interesting after a while. The ruins kind of got also. So I I'd say the level design is maybe the this game's like one, like, big negative. Oh, I should say what I thought was a negative in the story. I, I wish, since this was such a, like, this was Dogie's hometown, I, I wish he had shown up more in the plot stuff in the early game. Like, he's gone a lot in the game, Dogie. And I realize it's because you're supposed to be alone as Adol. So you have to have him be away. But the way Dogie was walking around with you here at the uh, end of the game, I wish you had moments like that to go around town just to see Dogi interact with all these, like, familiar faces. It, it felt a little odd that he was gone so much from the plot points when we were in his hometown and all. So that's, like, that's not a huge negative, but I would have liked to see that more in the plot. And, yeah, but, but a bit of a, again, not a huge negative, but a bigger one than that Dogi thing. The level design in some levels, monotonous, not, not, not super. Some levels were great. The lava level... Valestine Castle was fantastic. Uh, the mines were pretty good too. They, they they got a perfect balance with the mines, I think, with variants. So 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 not not all levels, but some of the levels got a bit long in the tooth. Um, presentation wise, it's an acquired taste. But like I said, this like sprite work is beautiful. So to me, so I love it. I love the look of this game. I love the 3D environments look really nice. Some will say they're like low poly and everything. I love the retro isness and I love those cute sprites running around there. I am very happy with it. I like that, you know, Galbalan was actually was not a sprite. Galbalan was a big enough monster to just be a big old 3D poly monster, but even that worked really good. I liked it. Big goofy thing. Actually, so was Garland too. Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot of monsters were, now that I think about it. The dragon as well. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, now that I think about it. There were big monsters that weren't just polygons, but yeah. Uh, yeah, and music, of course, is absolutely stellar. Not a lot of not a lot of dud songs here. Maybe the music fighting Garland was a bit, bit boring. That was the most boring fight music, maybe. I don't know. I guess the normal boss music wasn't super memorable either, but like 
honestly, it's because the Galbalan music was so thrillingly good that uh, you, it's hard to compete with how good that boss music was. But apart from that, great soundtrack altogether. Uh, presentation, I think it's great. Maybe an acquired taste, but I think it looked beautiful. Oh yeah, well I guess playing it on widescreen, of course, you get those moments where you see the black at the side of the screen. That's a little embarrassing, but what are you gonna do? Yeah. Not, 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 not a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waffling on if this is my favorite East personally or if East 7, because East 7 was a thrill. But, um, yeah, like I said a couple of episodes ago, in a while, if I'm going to have to pick from two of these games, which one do I'd rather play, I think it's going to be this one, maybe. I don't know, it's very hard to make the call, so I, I think I'm going to punk out and not make it. But I totally get why this is such a fan favorite, like, like I said. This was so freaking good, this game. Such a, such a good, such a good, such a simple, but does so much with how simple it is, and I love it for it. Okay, my favorite, let's get to favorites. My favorite protagonist, I don't want to just say Adol, um, I don't know. They're all great, but who really sticks out as an amazing protagonist? That like make me go like wow I loved the I loved this character I, I guess Elena just was a really good character. She was. I, I I guess part of me wishes she was a bit more active in the plot. Like I guess she you could fault that she was a bit of a damsel in distress and then just kind of being all demure like no don't fight this isn't you. Like she didn't she wasn't super active in the plot. But she was still a nice, nice character, all the same. I still liked her for that. So maybe that's my favorite protagonist. Like the other like characters are just like Haha, that was a fun character, you know. But that was pretty profound. The the, the nothing nothing super profound for them. Ella was the closest thing I'd say. Um, yeah. Like Berhart was cool, but he wasn't in it too much. Uh, Randolph was really fun as well, but again, that's almost a gag, him going from drunkard to being a badass. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Elena's been the best protagonist in this, apart from just Adol being Adol, I guess. Either Elena or Dogi. I'm leaning still on Elena as kind of, she's the, you know, Dogi's in every ease, or almost every ease, while Elena is very much Oath in Felgana tied, so I think she gets the best protagonist just for this game, you know. And indeed, best antagonist is way easier. I'm so impressed with Chester. I'm gonna count him as antagonist, even though he did have a hero turn at the end. But as an antagonist, I'm actually really impressed, because you remember uh, early, early I was joking about Chester, like, wow, he is so cartoonishly evil, and I feel like they're gonna want to twist it to, like, he's gonna be a good guy after all, but he's being played up so evil, I... Don't know how they could do it convincingly. Well, they did do it kind of convincingly because it turned out that he was... W once they revealed his true motives, it wasn't like he flipped a switch to being a good guy. He was still very... Like, he was kind of out of control in a way, you know, stabbing Dogi and all that. And his he was, like, really, like, hell-bent on vengeance. He, he was still, like... You, you got some sympathy for him, but he was still very much a, 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 an enemy you had to, like, stop. And, you know, the grand betrayal from the bishop and him being, like, humiliated and crushed and Elena getting kidnapped and it being part of, partly his fault that that happened, that's totally believable that that's, what's, that's what would convince him to, like, um, flip around to being willing to selflessly sacrifice himself. So, good on you for taking such a corny character and then, like, flipping it around to, like, no, I accept that he is this way and I accept his uh, redemption arc at the end here. Very good, very good. Not to mention, even though I was so frustrated with his second fight, good, 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 good rival boss fights. Really good stuff. My favorite level is, of course, Valestine Castle. Great bosses, topped with a... Ah, it's, I'll say it's a fine boss, even though it was, again, really tough final Chester. 
great variety in the areas, good challenges with all the platforming. Like I said, good variety, so I don't get bored with it or like frustrated with it like Elder Mountains. Valestein had it all and I was really thrilled by that level. Easy choice for favorite level. Favorite boss? Well, I waffled on it a lot in the one episode. Maybe I didn't should have waffled on it so much, because I'm still gonna say... Well, Galbalan was actually a really cool final boss, but... I think Ligati was a really cool boss. It was really neat. The Three Harpies. Very neat how you, there were so much options for how to tackle that boss. And that, that's a boss which I think a lot of people will probably play in different ways. Uh, than what I did it. Like, there's gonna be so much variety in how to tackle that, and that's really fun, I think. So, I think Ligati will get a shoe in as my favorite boss in this. Uh, Galbalan, however, does get points from me. Oh, in my funniest moment category, I wasn't sure until today's recording session what I would hand it over to, but for a final boss, Galbalan was hilarious. The choice of his, uh, being this bombastically kind of cartoonishly evil when he's supposed to be like this kind of eldritch monstrosity demon. That was so funny, coupled with, again, that rocking soundtrack, which, you know, you could have like had ominous Latin chanting and heavy, heavy percussion and dramatic symphonic music to make it kind of like, this is dramatic, this is the most most, like, epic thing in the world. But no, it was, like, this incredibly fun butt rock, which was like, hey, it's the final battle, so have fun and go all out, and here's this goofy, goofy alien monster, like, look how silly he is. <laughs> I'm not at all docking points from the game from making the final boss so silly. In a game which was quite lighthearted, I really like that the, the final boss was this cartoonish, and that fighting him was genuinely fun. And and like him like going, Ali! when you shoot him in the eyeball. It's 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 really funny. I think it works. I think it does work. Maybe maybe someone will disagree, like maybe it should have been more serious. But I think just like having this final cathartic throw down with this goofy bombastic demon monster guy was absolutely tops. I love it. Really good fun. Great job, guys. That's my review. That was the playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you guys didn't get as frustrated by my Let's Play as I got frustrated in the tough parts. I knew what I was getting into. It was a difficult game, obviously. So, yeah, it's on me for getting tilted whenever I did. <laughs> uh, next ease that I'm going to play is definitely ease 8, I think, is the obvious one to jump into next. Maybe ease 9? I don't know. Maybe by the time I'm ready for another East, East 9 will be on PC, maybe. I don't know. But I'm probably going to be East 8 that I'm going to jump into next, since it's so, like, lauded by so many East fans. I think... And that was what I was originally planning on playing after 7, but, you know, I got convinced to play this one, and I'm really grateful I was. Uh... But yeah, like like as you guys may have surmised, I'm not going to be playing E8 for a while. I don't like playing the same game series too close to each other. Maybe some exceptions sometimes, I don't know. But um, you know, there might be corner cases why I might do it. But uh, yeah, in this case, I don't want to jump into another E straight away. I want to play something else as a change of pace. But yeah, like 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 as as you guys can tell, I'm 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 a complete mark for this series, even though I've only played three installments in the series. So I definitely do want to go to East Eight Lacrimosa of that word I don't know how to pronounce. Um, but it's gonna be a while later, so. I hope you guys enjoy what will be coming next on the channel as well. Gonna be a change of pace to something else. I'm thinking something Japanese, but not a RPG. Nah, nah, nah. But, in any case, all the same, I'm glad you watched all this with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. And I hope you will find more enjoyable content in the future. Catch you all later. Goodbye!